I've got all my work pieces milled down to the final thickness and now I'm at the, the table saw and I need to rip cut these down to the final width. Now since I'm making two different trays, one's going to be beveled and the sides are going to kind of flare out. Um, I, need to, I need to make that cut here at the saw. I need to uh, go ahead and include a bevel on those side pieces. So I've got my, my blade set at a 14 degree bevel and I'm going to uh, rip cut the pieces for the, the bevel tray. And then I'm going to readjust that blade and cut my pieces for the, the straight tray. Just go ahead and do that. I'm only going to bevel one edge on my walnut boards. They're going to go on the end. I'm going to leave enough material to create a, a handle and I need to leave plenty of material to accommodate that. The maple boards, on the other hand, I'm beveling both sides and I'm cutting them down to their final width. So I'm going to take a piece of hardboard and I'm going to uh, kind of draw out a template, figure out how I want to do that, and then I'm going to take it over to the bandsaw. I used a French curve and a ruler and I just kept playing with this template until I came up with something that I, that I found visually pleasing. I used a Forstner bit installed on my drill press to remove most of the material on my template and then I took it on over to the oscillating spindle sander and cleaned it up. I'm going to set my bevel gauge up to my table saw blade and I'm going to use that angle and set up my bandsaw table to match that bevel. Now I just have to cut it out. Then I'll use my capex to miter both ends on my template. A little double-sided tape works great to hold the template onto the workpiece. I'm going to go ahead and cut my sides down to length. Now I've decided to make this tray about 20 inches long and I've got to put the same uh, miter on both of the sides. I'm ready to lay out my dovetails. Um, I do intend to um, join these ends with, with dovetails. Now this is going to be uh, somewhat tricky. Uh, normally I do dovetails on a, you know, just a square corner and this is a compound joint which makes the layout a little bit more tricky. An explanation of these dovetails really goes beyond the scope of this video, but uh, my next video will be a very detailed video on making those dovetails. I'm using a quarter inch bit to cut a groove in the bottom of my tray sides to hold the bottom 
Now, I have to cut this at the same angle as the sides. This jig in conjunction with my router table makes that a fairly easy task. I put the groove in all four sides. I stuck the template I made earlier back on my, my workpiece and I used a bearing guided bit to cut out this recess. I'm sanding all of my pieces to 180 grit. This would be especially difficult after glue up. Looking pretty good. I'm making my tray bottom from hardboard and once I rip cut and cross cut, I'll be ready for glue up. Glue up was a little tricky because of the beveled sides, so I took some of my cutoffs from the miter cuts I made earlier and I taped those to my clamps. This allowed me to get the clamping pressure I needed. A little bit of elbow grease with a bench plane and one thorough sanding up to 180 grit is all she will need and she will be ready for a finish. I didn't film the finish process, but I did apply one coat of tongue oil and three coats of wipe on poly. And I am quite pleased with the results. Well, that concludes this video. Be sure to click on the subscribe button for future content and we will see you next time.